Well, if Jugger Conray won't do it properly as a let's play, I guess I will. Welcome to Paper Mario Sticker Star for the Nintendo 3DS. This game, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> a lot of people really, really fucking hate this game. And I can kinda see why they would. But personally, I actually quite enjoy it, so... Uh, <laughs> Uh, that's, that's gonna be interesting to justify, I think. Now, this is not gonna be a normal playthrough, mind you, if you've read the title of this video. I'm gonna be trying to do a challenge run, because the game allows me to do it. I'm here, I, I can, like, I'm here to do the things that no one else wants to do, really. A reverse boss order run, where I start with the chapter 5 boss, and then just work my way backwards. It's gonna be a bit confusing, a bit very stupid, but at least the first couple episodes should be fairly straightforward. Don't mind these test files I have here, uh, we'll just start off a new file and hop right in. <clears throat> Today's story begins one evening during a holiday called Stickerfest. The Stickerfest is a celebration of stickers that occurs every year in the Mushroom Kingdom. You know, why is there so many celebrations on the Mushroom Kingdom? On the special night, a sticker comet falls from far beyond the sky. You know, if a comet were to fall, I wouldn't celebrate, I'd be fucking terrified. If everyone concentrates and wishes on the sticker comet... It's said that all those wishes will come true, yeah. The, how many wish-granting MacGuffins do we have in the Mushroom Kingdom? I guess it's too many. We, we have too many of these, stop it. Just stop it. Now, one huge, huge complaint that I can already, like, address. This game has barely any story. It's all just... You go through levels, fight fuckers, you solve puzzles, and there's barely any character interactions. And yes, I agree, it sucks. Because Bowser here... He just is a dickhead, because when is he ever not? The thing is, though, he says not a singular word in the entire game which is such a shame because bowser is like always the best character in these fucking paper mario games like he's always so fun and charming it's like he's mute and peach is also mute i think so we're just stuck with toads which is another complaint that there's no unique characters like no unique characters that it's just toads and again, yeah, that's also true. Shit sucks. Anyways, a crown lands on Bowser's noggin. He was already King Bowser, though, so... What? Oh! Looks like he got crumpled, but now he's actually, like, flashy now. Tornado! Well... Time for a boss fight, except, nah, we can't win. Literally like in Paper Mario 1, dude just is too invincible. Wake up! Wake up! Oh, come on! WAKE UP! Oh gee, no need to be so rude about it. Let me just uncrumple myself first, jeez. Also, in case you didn't know who this fucker is, uh... That's Mario. Say hi. Well, gee, I think someone got drunk and went on a rampage. Hey, you. Come over here, man. Wow, you came right over here, huh? Good instincts. I like it. Also known as I played this game before. In case it's not obvious, I'm stuck here and can't move. Hurry up and peel me off this thing. Just get close to me and hold on A. You're gonna handle that, right? Now peel! Which one's A? I'm illiterate. Oh, no. Whew, that was unpleasant. Hey, wait a minute, you. What's your deal? What? Uh, me? You! You're the one who touched this comet! What is wrong with you? It's a saying from the beginning of time. Never ever touch the sticker comet. You must have heard it a million times! I didn't even know what the fuck a sticker comet was before I started this game. So, like, what? You don't think a comet packed full of people's wishes might be the teensiest bit dangerous? I've dealt with worse. 
No, you and your infinite wisdom had to lay your grubby little hands on it and come blammo! Total chaos! I didn't even realize what blew off to who knows where in the blast. The royal stickers! Y yeah, those royal stickers! This is all your fault, pal. You're taking full responsibility for all of this. Nah, hi! Mario. Huh? Someone named Bowser touched a sticker comment at your Mario? How dare you! Pinning the blame on someone else? Talk about cowardly! Talk about completely on paper like! A lady is in serious trouble here! Ask yourself, what would the famous Mario do at a time like this? Hmm? I don't know. I'll jump. Huh? Yeah, really? You'll help? Thanks. In that case, I'll introduce myself. I'm Kirsty. Anagram of sticker. Get it? Funny? <laughs> I came from the faraway sticker star to grant everyone's wishes at the sticker fest. Well, you did a shit job, let me tell you that much. It's not me or Grandstand, mind you. No. Then why are you here if you don't even gra- You're useless! Now let's get it all over. As the caretaker, it's my duty to find all of them. Or else I can't return to the sticker star. So yeah, that's why you have to help me find the royal stickers. Looks like they fell outside of town, so first we need to find a way to get out of here. And she just flies it by pants. Because of course she would. I mean, who, who doesn't at this point? Look at this branded Bowser tape. That's snazzy, I want that. My Bowser paste is all over your, all over the, Look, I've just got the thing for a crisis. A hammer! Hammer slammer! Hell yeah. May not look like much, but this hammer's got a long and distinguished pedigree that echoes back through the kingdom's history. You could just use Beale and Master in no time. Cool. Yeah, yeah, we can also use the hammer now, break stuff, so knock stuff down, just whack whatever you want. We can also do this. For no reason. Also this. Hey man. Great, that was fun. Yeah, pasted me on the sign in the forgotten corner. And what number did I draw on the rescue toad lottery? Two. Story of my life. He actually keeps track of which number you rescue him as. It's impossible to rescue him as number one because you need the hammer, but I wonder what happens if you hack the game to do that. Huh? Talk about being flat out unimportant. I get it flat. But hey, at least we got the hammer first thing in this game instead of waiting until chapter fucking five in Super Paper Mario. God. But then again, you didn't really need it in that game too much. I uh, was kind of hoping you'd be a little gentler with the whole peeling process. A little delicacy, you know? I mean, I'm not ripped anyway, am I? No? Good. Thanks for your help. God, imagine if you just ripped a toad in half with that. That would be... something. Got an e-camera! Huh? Hey, it's a sticker, isn't it? Lucky you, picking up something that great. Well, you can't just... Jam something as important as a sticker in your pocket. Um, why not? I like sticky pockets. So now we got an album! Told you the bottom screen would be useful. Any sticker you find, you just pop it in the album. Trust me, you're gonna need as many of those as you can later on, so take good care of them. I mean, you say that, but I could also just. Nah, I won't toss it away, that would be mean. <laughs> Oops. I wanted to peel, but I jumped. Great. Good old platforming. Peel! There we go. Whenever the wind blew, I was flapping around like there was a piece of like it was a piece of laundry. Not my finest moment. And I've got to say, dangling at the time real was kind of terrifying. Laundry's got it rough. Tell it to the laundromat. Boop. And let's just leave that guy hanging for a bit more. Why not? I gotta break a box and get one coin. God, I feel very satisfied now. Get a hammer sticker, another one. And this guy has a shoe sticker, I want a shoe. Ah, oh, you've got the skills. You peeled it off without ripping my head. Now I kinda wanna rip his head. So as any sticker collector, we wanna collect every sticker in existence once. N no more. Now that's a joke. Mario is the shittiest sticker collector ever. He collects like 10 million shoes. Like, <laughs> that's not how sticker collecting works. Crumpled and stuck on a box. A box! I mean, I was raised to always keep my creases crisp, but it's not like this really crimps my corners. And now he's standing right there, so I probably shouldn't unleash the primal shriek I've bottled up. I guess I'll just swallow my rage. God, I really wanted to do like a toad shrieking noise. That would have been great. Let's break this, break this block. There we go. And there we go. Look, a road! Now we can start making some progress. Hurry up and let's find a way out of town. Yeah, eventually. 
eventually cast them. So here's the town proper. Quite how I thought it would be. What about that? Where's the exit? My god, is this bitch persistent. Anyways, hidden block here for another shoe. And a worn-out hammer. So there's different tiers of like goodness for certain stickers. Wow, that's it. Wow. And we'll get over that more when we get into actual battles, but for now, meh. My camouflage bush! Oh, that hiding for nothing! My sweet ambush is a no-go! Oh, shut up! Ambush, yeah. Like the, the enemy in the Thousand Year Door with the ambush. But no, no, 64, my bad. Cool enemy name, though. I just turn to survive in the sun like, like a weed. I think I've been taped to a bag of bush really qualifies. I've seen worse. Hey, listen, saving people is noble and all, but how do you focus on getting out of this out of town? How about you shut up first? My god. What a bitch. Yeah, Kirsty is another complaint people have in this game, where it's just like, she's fucking annoying and a bitch and not very useful. Check this out. After Buzz's stack, does he carefully lined up our edges before shuffling us into the cabinet? The guy is surprisingly meticulous. Pretty impressive attention to detail for a rampaging monster. And that's all the character organization boss is gonna get this game, probably. <laughs> Again, pretty pretty sad, but hey, what can you do? Someone taped this house up because no one likes this house, apparently. Fuck this house. There's a shoe there. And now it's a jump, but I'm, I like calling it shoe because it's a shoe. My god. Crumpled, balled up, then flicked into the trash before the second thought. Pretty much the peak of humiliation for paper. I'm gonna go grab a shower and forget. Wouldn't a shower be like highly deadly to paper? I feel like this dude just is gonna die, which, you know, fair enough. Anyways, if we hop up here, we can get a shiny jump, which is cool. Again, I'll go over what all this means a bit later. Also, the worst sticker in the game, the bar hammer. Once again, I'll... I don't know, I'm sure there's nothing. Once again, I'll go over what that stuff is later, but for now, we'll just get more stickers. Because why not? Huh, <sighs> Mario. I was mentally prepared to quietly while away the rest of my days on the wall without anyone ever finding me. But now that you've faced me, I must sally forth once more and brave the uncertainties of this cruel world. Super. Is... are you... is that sarcasm? Did you wanna just vibe in the background? Oh, well, I'm, I don't get this guy. Ah, whatever. Now, what about you? Do it again! It sucks that this... you can't just chain this together really quickly. Like, brruh, 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 brruh. You have to, like, fucking wait. This is a bit unsatisfying, I'd have to say. Takes fucking forever. Come on. Come on. There. Yeah, that was rough. So, Mario, you got followed eight times. Well, I got followed 256. That is physically impossible. I'm not such a math guy, but I think that means that I'm 32 times rougher than you. Well, I don't know any math, so who, who cares. Hmm, that looks sus. Oh, hey, you followed pretty well, but you found measly, didn't you? <laughs> Wait, who's on the what now? Bowser's gone? Yes, dude, let's go home! Yay! 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 Bye. Alright. So one thing I have to give the game, the writing is excellent, but the, the sad thing... The sad thing is, most of the good writing is pretty much just here in the prologue, so... Me. All day, every day, it was endless. I'll be back, anyone home? Bye, welcome, I'm home. And I got stomped on every time. Makes me terrified just reliving it. I never want to be a doormat again. But gee, imagine being a doormat. That would be sad. Truly, truly sad. But anyways, I think that's everyone in the town area. Oh. Oh, wow, this place is really rolled up tight. The, what's this? Bowser guy did quite a number on the town. Ain't this just a big ol' foo for -a. What? Plaza's all burritoed up and we can't get out of town. I think in the... 
European translation uh, localization. This is pancake, and not burrito. So that's fun. So this is gonna just win the day. Okay, ready to unburrito this bad boy? Push, push. And he's dead. Oh, we got an instant replay. Hell yeah. Thanks, Mario. The plaza's back to normal, so now we can leave town. Probably got some Princess Peach saving to do, huh? Get to it! We did it! Now we can take that exit to get outside of town. Finally, we can set out to find the Royal Snickers. Finally! Gee. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot to mention. If you ever want to talk to me, just press L. If you get stuck or lost, or maybe just lonely, I might. <laughs> Tough shit, you ain't. You. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This bitch is not good advice giver at all, my god. Well, I guess we'll get to that. So, Deckelberg is our main hub town for the area, for, for like, the game. Kind of like Toad Town or Flipside or Pedal... Uh, or... Uh, or Pedal Burger. Rogueport, there we go, my god. Got a shop here to buy stickers from if we need more, but... There's literally stickers everywhere, but I guess I can show off the shop. At least. So, yeah, that, that's pretty pointless, isn't it? Like, that, I can pick up all of that stuff whenever I want, so, bleh. Help? Nah, I'm hearing things all in my head. Resisting the urge to freak out. Pfft. You'll freak out soon enough, trust me. Hold up over there! <laughs> Where are you headed, Mario? Why don't you play with us for a little while? Excuse me? What are you thinking, you flimsy little ingrates? You're in the way! Well, that's fine, because it'll give us a chance to use some sticker power and turn you into paper scraps. Prepare to be shredded! Okay, there you go, Mario. I'm far too delicate a lady for a poor Ruhaha. Protecting me is your... Oh my god! So you think you're flimsy, huh? And you're going to shred us, huh? Oh, we'll just see about that. Fight! <laughs> yeah, we aren't the same on Goomba's here as the stomping pal. Boss has got our backs. Uh, they still look like the usual little stompable minions. They they haven't changed a bit. I'm sensing stick up. I am sensing shit. Well, I've got sticker power too. That's all you got. Mm. What do you mean not it? I can floor these guys with like two hammer stickers or three made. Come on. Well, I guess I gotta get a little helping booster, so why not? First look over there. Choose the sticker you want to use and stick it right there. On the bottom screen, touch the sticker you want to use or use the circle pad or the circle pad to line up the cursor confirm A. Now let the sticker battle begin. So yeah, all of our attacks are expendable. Which hmm, some people really don't like that. Like I I don't mind it that much because you get so many stickers, so it's like whatever. But at the same time, yeah. Anyways, first enemy, Goombas! They're pretty weak, so it's fine. Okay, uh, that's the timing on the hammer attack. Nice, cool. Hammers produce a shock wave when you do like a good enough attack, which is pretty cool. Uh I guess we can use a one out jump, because why not? So there is descriptions for these stickers, but they're pretty, uh, bad. Because <laughs> they don't even tell you how much damage stuff does, so it's like, whatever. I'm not gonna go over what damage values each sticker does, because that would be a bit stupid. Especially because damage is a very nebulous, nebulous concept in this game anyways. We'll get into that later as well. He shredded us, we really are flimsy! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that was definitely something off about those Goombas. I'm sure their behavior has something to do with the... No, they were just dickheads. With sketchy Goombas all over, it might be good to prepare for the worst by buying stickers from the town sticker shop. Well, that's your call. Yeah, I ain't buying shit, let me be honest. So one more thing I want to mention before the part ends. You can press start, not while in battle, mind you, to sort your stickers. Yeah, it's, it's kind of annoying that you can't press start in battle to sort them as well, but yeah, whatever. 
save our game. Because why not? And I guess we'll head to the old world. Because this game is also a bit different in that sense from other Paper Mario games. We got an overworld, which I think is fine. Because, well, it's a 3DS game, so the portability and pick up and play aspects was a bit more appealing in that sense, so I can see that. Anyways, I suppose next time we kinda have to start off with World 1. So, you know. Till then, see ya!